what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of fps drop frame drops or stuttering issue you're currently having with phasmophobia so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you'll probably know what to do in order to fix this issue before we start right into the video i just want you guys know let you guys know that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am especially uh, subscribing would be such a big support for me guys you would support my work here on youtube a little bit and i would be really be thankful for that so I'm, I'm gonna thank you for that so i would just say anyways let's get right started so um as the first step i want you to basically open up your task manager by using the shortcut and ever getting down to your task by right clicking it and opening up your task manager as the next step, I want you to navigate to the top left corner of your screen, clicking onto processes just to ensure that you're sticking around them. And as the next step, I want you to click on CPU and end every single task which is currently having too much CPU usage on your PC by simply right clicking and clicking onto end task. I want you to do the same thing for your GPU and let me explain this to you. So sometimes, especially in low end PCs or bad PCs, running too many programs which are having too much CPU or GPU usage at the moment could cause uh, FPS drop, frame drops or stuttering. So just by doing that, you're avoiding this issue. Um, yeah, guys, once you're finished here, I want you to enter your task manager again. And as the next step, I want you to navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen, opening up your settings, navigating right onto gaming and sticking around the Xbox game bar. What I want you to do next is obviously turn the Xbox game bar off because the Xbox game bar doesn't really come with any benefit. It will just impact your performance badly. Just, uh, yeah, your FPS drops will be a lot more if this is turned on, so just turn this off. As the next step, I want you to click onto captures. And what I want you to do here is get, basically go to background recording, stick around recording the background while I'm playing a game and turn this off. Especially if this is turned on without uh, turned on without you knowing that this will, this will impact your your performance heavily. So everyone knows if you're recording something, this will impact your performance, especially in low end PCs. And guys, you don't want Windows to record something in the background. We'll use a proper program for that and not Windows. So either way, just turn this off and come back once in a while just to check if this is really turned off. As the next step, I want you to click onto game mode and I can't really tell you now to turn it on or off. You need to check it for your system specifically. So just uh, turn it on and look what's working better off or on and stick with the setting which is working better. As the next step, I want you to go back once and navigate right into update and security. We want you to stick around Windows Update. And I know guys, it's gonna sound a little bit basic, but trust me, updating every single driver you could possibly update on your PC will help you a lot with like 99% of your technical issues you're currently having and updating your Windows driver will help you a lot. Just download it and provide the best possible performance for your PC. Once you're finished here, I want you to close the settings and do the same thing for your graphics card. So if you have AMD or Nvidia, it doesn't really matter. Just go to the application or the browser and download the latest version of your driver just to provide the best possible performance in general for your PC. Yeah, guys, that's it for the video. I hope I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription. And I'm going to really be thankful for that. I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you guys, but I'm just trying to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one, and bye.